It is Friday the 4th of January That's and not. what is it? It's Friday the 5th of January. <laughs> Happy Friday you lovely lot. It is Friday the 5th, 5th of January. <laughs> some debate on that but we've landed that it is the 5th yeah. And um, you join us from our van uh, because the kids, a messy van, a but... messy van, because there are still people asleep in the house, Daisy's asleep in there, and we didn't want to wake anyone up. So this is the first happy travel day, everybody. Yeah. Uh, this is the first travel day that we've started from uh, the van. So there's no saying goodbye to the cats. Obviously, we've done that. There's no saying, you know, obviously no saying goodbye to the kids because they're normally coming with us. And yeah, uh, you, we said our goodbyes last night before we got up and started finishing our packing. So. Yeah, because we're off to Disney for the first time ever without the kids and this yeah. is also the first holiday that we've ever had without the kids since yeah since before we had them yeah yeah, yeah. which is so luke's 23 so we've not had a holiday without the kids for 23 <laughs> it's gonna be interesting it is, yeah. um so you are joining us for two weeks um where we'll be staying first port orleans riverside for a week and then we're going to tampa, going to tampa see, see some, some friends, friends for the weekend and then we're coming back for four nights at all star music yes so the time is now 20 to 10 in the morning. Our flight is at half past two. We're flying from Terminal 3 at Heathrow and we're flying Virgin Economy. We've pre uh, pre booked our seats, so we've got <coughs> a two against the window. And um, yeah, we've got short stay parking booked, so that's where you just rock up. You go through like a scanner, takes a picture of your car, and um, and then you just give me keys and then you short walk across and you're in. What have we got planned for this trip? Well, lots of things planned. We're doing farmers markets at Winter Garden and Celebration. Yep. Um, the second week that we are there at All Stars is the same week that the um, Festival of the Arts starts at Epcot. Also known as <laughs> Farts. <laughs> In my head, I was really careful to say that. You've done it. Um, yeah, so we've not done that before, so that's going to be fun. Um, and we're doing some extra things. We're gonna. There's a new uh, restaurant open, Summer House on the Lake. On the yep. Lake. Yeah, summer house anyway in uh, Disney Springs, so we're going to be eating there. Um, I'm going to try and do a few different things that we haven't done before, eat a few different places we haven't done before, and see what it's like when it's just the two of us. Yeah, I'm really excited to see two new resorts. So first of all, uh, Port Orleans, always wanted to stay there. The boat to Disney Springs is a huge draw for me. And um, <clears throat> really excited to stay on one of the All-Stars as well. We've never done that. Anyway, we better get on the move. drive in um, so just follow the signs for terminal three what I should have done I should have said it's really easy as you drive in after we've actually made it there yeah but so far so good <laughs> anything we're, could happen from here on in but we're, here we we're, we're, we're yeah three, we're confident Woo. this must be it right so we've prepaid it now we haven't yes we have and yeah you just drive in follow the signs and uh, easy peasy Right, so there's a sign there for meet and greet, and now we're going to go and get <laughs> it. Just taken this bit reminds me like of the queue, for, like for flight of passage. <laughs> so you just drive in, there's cameras everywhere, and really? I think what they're doing checking for cooties. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're checking to make sure your car's you're not turning up with like a banger, and then when you pick it up, you can say, My car didn't look like that. So, oh, hold on, it's asking for a ticket. So yeah, you put your ticket in that you were given at the first bit, and then duck down, meet and greet straight ahead. It is really, really well signposted, and our van's pretty high, and it has got roof bars on it, but there's not much more clearance than that. But yeah, we've got a T5, so yeah. Heathrow meet and greet, that's what we've got. We're just looking for a spot to park. Will we get it in there? Yep, we'll get it. Right, that was easy peasy so i pre-booked that a couple of weeks ago and i think for two weeks so 14 nights or so <clears throat> it was about a hundred uh it was about 220 pounds um it took about an hour and a bit to get here and when you arrive we just followed signs for terminal three and then those signs for terminal three turn into signs for terminal three parking and then yeah it all the it's really easy i 
used to get anxiety about stuff like this and you don't need it just take your time breathe and just yeah it's great as i said we got a t5 we sometimes have a roof box on this you're not going to get it in with a roof box um but yeah it's all super easy anyway something that we should have done because this is a little bit ask about face because because <laughs> we we haven't got two other people to think of we're all out of, out of routine it's it's a bit weird yeah and what we should do at the start of a new series is hi <laughs> Tell if, you who we are, if really. you're new to the channel i'm keith this is my bird trice <laughs> i think oh, you should say i'm your wife <laughs> you're my wife and um we're normally traveling with um our two children and they're not coming on this trip so luke is uh how old's luke 23? 23 coming up 24 and daisy is just turned 20 and they're having their they're living their lives and we had the opportunity um to do uh, a trip without them they're both working full-time uh luke races so he has to race his cars so he has to use a lot of his annual holiday to do that daisy works like flat out in hospitality so she uh, her time is you know she, she We've gone from kids that had plenty of time off, like holidays and school and stuff. And we were working all the hours God sends. Yeah. And it's now flipped. We've kind of just sold our business. We've got a bit more time at the moment. And they're working. And yeah. we've got more time to have some exciting trips. Yeah. So we, we had, an, we had a, a really big B&B slash sort of hotel. And um, we've sold the main part of that. And now we've just got a very small little accommodation business, um, which we're getting ready for to launch for later on this year. It is kind of trading, but softly. Um, and we just had the opportunity to do this. We are annual pass holders, um, which means the deal that we got on this trip was, we're selling at um, All Star Movies and the room rate was less than $90 a night. And when I booked- With the annual pass holder With the annual pass like holder discount. And I was just like, that's really, that's really. It was rude not to. We just had to come away. <laughs> and because we we play the game with points, just to give you an example, two return flights with our points was less than five hundred pounds for both of us. So, um, and we don't have to buy the tickets like part passes because we've got annual passes. So it was just like. I think yeah. what you're saying is that we're actually saving money by coming on <laughs> holiday. <laughs> this is how we're justifying it. But it does feel really weird without the children um and it's a lot calmer <laughs> i have to say i know but this morning it is weird it is really strange and and the kids are fine um but i went to get i went to fill the van up this morning and i started it was almost like this cheesy montage running through my head of like all the trips we've done with the kids i had a i didn't have you a proper a, cry i am a, a bit i a did moment. have a moment i had a proper well up and i was just like oh my uh, uh, and i'm not going to take that through this whole holiday, the kids aren't with us. I'm sad about it a bit, but I'm going to be all right, and I'm not going to bore on about it for the rest of the holiday. It's just, it's just a, a time, the next step, the next step in all our lives. But they will be joining oh, us on I'm, other trips. I'm so not ready for the next step. <laughs> but they will be joining us on other trips. This isn't just it. We, they'll be coming with us. But this time, it's just the two of us. It was like that. What was that? Um, that segment on Radio Two with the sad music. Oh, um, our, our song. <laughs> it was like that. I was, I was, I was running through all that when Daisy used to spend the entire holiday on my shoulders watching parades, and Luke was just running around with like pin lanyards. And anyway, it stops now. We're having fun without the kids. <laughs> um, right, we are all arrived. Um, I don't know what time it is, but it's um, it's coming up for half eleven. Um, so we made it in it's ten past eleven. In, we made it in good time. What we'll do now, we go and drop our keys off with um, the people here, and we leave our keys, and then we give them our paperwork. And um, yeah, then we then we forget about the car and we go on holiday. Then we forget about the car and go on holiday. Forget about the car anyway. It's fat, nice. <laughs> it's like I'm, you're not emotionally attached to it. <laughs> coffee cups. There's like <laughs> there's my gym town. There's locks. Anyway, let's go on holiday. Right, so cars all parked up. Remember your number. We're number we're 35. And uh, yeah, just follow the signs. All dropped off, ready to go, and get a bit of paperwork. Really nice, helpful people. Turn to the airport. Okay, Tracy's just made a good point. Because we haven't got the kids with us, we're going to have to attempt the. Uh, the self check-in without the without the youth so um this could be interesting these are my florida shoes trace <laughs> these are my special shoes right we gave it a good go there's no one here to help us we're gonna go and speak to a person 
well it wouldn't let me proceed uh, anyway solo trip and then um it make if it keeps addresses atlanta and we can change it so yeah all done humans one robots nil <laughs> Yeah, we're going to try the online checker from home next time. Yeah, we should do that really. However, it wasn't a very big queue and the lady was really quick and it went very smoothly. So and I made really a friend. I made a friend, yeah. yeah. Right, so in the past, Luke, who normally comes with us, um, <laughs> he has trouble differentiating between liquids so we always have to make sure if he's got any runnies or hards on him um, I've got previous for trying to bring Leathermans and knives on planes and uh, Tracy's like the sensible one until now I didn't realise I had a very small mini can of doesn't matter how small it was you're breaking the law so yeah, and and it, it was actually nearly empty, so he's let me take it, so that's fine. Nice. Yeah, and we got to see the nice guy again at security, he was very friendly. He was lovely, very smiley. Yes. Yeah, right, uh, now we're going to try on all the sunglasses and smell all the perfumes. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. You know what this is? This is... This is RTB roll. <laughs> Right, I think it's a prep for lunch. Let's see what they got. I think because we're going to be eating on the plane shortly, we've only gone light. I've got ham and cheese. What do you go for? I went for chicken fajita wrap. Looks and good. Some nice. That was £17.10. Yeah. Right, we've had a nice few hours. Rather pleasant, very chill, very calm. <laughs> keep, keep looking around like something's missing. <laughs> oh, it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> Nice little lunch from Pret, that was nice. Yeah, just what we needed, not too much, just something to keep us going. Yeah, uh, our gate's been called, so we're heading down. I love these. We're nearly at the gate, this is the longest walk to end. <laughs> we're gate 20 in a, in a run of 1 to 22, and I was hoping it was going to be like the first descending order, like 22, 21, 20. No, we're walking <laughs> all the way to 20 from the beginning. It's a big walk. <laughs> Well, we'll get that steps in before we sit down for a, a long flight, I suppose. Right, all on. How are we? Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah, excited. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting really excited now. I think we're ahead of schedule. Yeah, we're due to take off for another 15 minutes, but it's looking like they're getting ready to pull away from the... Yeah. Yeah, airporty bit. <laughs> airporty <laughs> bit. <laughs> it's a busy flight. Yeah. yeah. Got no one behind us, so as soon as we take off, put the seats back, like the front have already done. First, we're going to show you a safety film, and we'd like you to give it your full attention. It's really important that you watch and understand it because together we're all responsible for safety on this flight. Virgin. I'm going for tomato juice, just been told. Virgin don't do any alcohol free options anymore, which is really disappointing, but hey ho. Right, the food's come around. I love the food on the planes. I like the game that you have to play. Like you've got to keep everything super tidy. We've got a creamy spinach and butternut squash pasta, you know, bread roll, all oh, top tip. Butter comes out freezing. Pop it under your dinner for a couple of seconds. Not too long. Not too long. I've done that for like since. You've melted the butter. Yeah. Almost uh, a bit down. Was it called? <laughs> oh, what's it called? Butter when it's like ice. Oh, um. So you yeah. Oh. No oh. oh no. Clarified. Clarified. Nice. Yeah. And you've gone for the chicken. I went for the chicken. You went for the pasta. Should I just do a reveal on my chicken? Do a reveal. Go on. Let's do a reveal on the chicken. Sorry, it's a bit fiddly. There you go. Yeah. Smells good. Looks like chicken and mash. <laughs> nice. And what are you watching? I am watching Theatre Camp. You enjoying it? Yeah, it's good fun. Yeah, it's good flight so far.
Chelsea had the busiest monorail ever. That was crazy. Immigration was a dream. Yeah, it was mega. Five minutes, less than five minutes. And then the monorail thing was just bad. Yeah. But People cutting you up with suitcases <laughs> all over the place. But we're here, Christmas tree out at MCO. Let's go and get an Uber. So as we've come down, um, we've come down one escalator and there's a sticker on the door there which says ride at pickup which will be uber tells you where to go 20 to 25 28 to 31 so see if we can order one so it's all numbered so we want to go a little bit further down but it's pretty close 20 to 21. was it 20 to 21 oh yeah 28 to 31 yeah we're here then i'll order it yeah and a nice little bench average flight don't know why. Yeah, it was, it was nothing remarkable. There was, there was nothing wrong with it. It just was a bit meh. It was a bit meh. Bit Films were meh. The yeah. service was a bit meh. The service was uh, good, but it wasn't outstanding. Yeah, it was just all right. Yeah, it was like they did what they needed to do, but they weren't really going much above and beyond. <laughs> but that was fine. And I, I think, think we've had some really good experiences recently on some of our flights. It was just by comparison, it was just a bit boring yeah <laughs> and if you do get the opportunity i think getting an earlier flight like a morning flight is way better because i'm a bit yeah i mean we did the we landed at 4 30 at town for last time we said we would do that again this is 2 30 at orlando which is a bit better um yeah well, 2 30 we, we flew at 2 30 so orlando time now it's only quarter past seven uh quarter past eight now but yeah, I think in real money it's like one o'clock in the morning. Yeah, so it's just a bit of a longer travel day, but it's okay. We don't, we don't have the transfer from, tra from Tampa. From Tampa. <laughs> very tired. Tampa to Orlando, so transfer's going to be quicker. So we're still going to be there in time for. You should have said that after we ordered an Uber. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. That's all ordered. Um, so it even says here, meet at Terminal B, arrivals level level two, baggage claim twenty eight. That's where we're at. It really is easy. I know, like. A few of you lovely lot have asked in the past about getting Ubers from the airport to the resort. It really is a piece of cake. We've always found it really quick than the transfer. Yeah. I didn't know which one to order actually. When there's like four of us, we would get an XL, so we've got four cases. And I ordered an XL again, just in case. Just, just in case our <laughs> cases expand between now and they arrive. Yeah, and it's really, really busy. And Ubers has this thing called surge prices, pricing. So when it's busier, um, it's more expensive, so that's $65 to get to the resort, so it is what it is. <laughs> nice Uber ride, nice man. Here to check in. I'm very excited. Literally just walked in, Yeehaw Bob's on. Uh, he's like a musician that plays in the bar um, it's pretty famous definitely want to come and see him one night amazing right better go and check in oh this is this is lovely right first impressions brilliant. it's brilliant isn't it yeah 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 and yeehaw bob was here to say hi i know all right let's go and check in Check-in done. Very lovely lady helped us out. Had a lovely chat, uh, and there's like a 20-minute wait for Bell Services to take us down there. There's fireworks going off already. Um, so we decided to just walk it. He said it's about a five-minute walk. So the plan is go and drop the bags off, find our room, and Tracy's navigating now. Well, I yeah, am, but it's too dark to read the map, so I'm just uh, getting my bearings. First impressions. I love it. Oh, I love it. It's so nice. Love. It has got a very old Key West kind of vibe, and there's fireworks. Yeah, there's fireworks, and uh, <laughs> yeah, service as you would expect is amazing. Yeah, and I'm feeling good now. Like that flight was, as we said, a bit meh, and now I'm feeling good. Yeehaw, Bob! Gonna go and get some food, dump the bags, see what the room's like. Good times. I think that's Michael. I don't think it's Michael. <laughs> One day we're going to see Michael. If uh, you've ever watched us before, I'm on the hunt for Michael, the world's greatest uh, ferry driver, nicest guy ever, best ferry ride we ever had. So we're just walking over this bridge. This is this is really lovely. Old Key West is probably our favourite resort, but this is definitely giving me Old Key West vibes.
Luke would love it here. He love this it. is very Princess and the Frog. Yeah, this is amazing. Look, the fountain's all lit up purple. It's so grand, like this sort of lawn area in front of the main, this not main building, but the big building and the trees. It's awesome. Nice lift. Third floor. Very pretty. Hello, here. How's business? Up and down. <laughs> <laughs> I get to do it because yeah. it's not here. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's this resort good. looks mega. I know. I, was, I knew it was going to be pretty. I didn't, I, I, I'm a bit taken aback by how beautiful it actually is. Yeah. And it's in the dark. <laughs> we haven't even seen it with the lights on yet. This is really. Oh, there we go. That's what's there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, so we're in the room. Uh, we have literally just walked straight into the room. So I've not even had a proper look. Oh, welcome home. Well, it's not the family, is it? It's just two of us. <laughs> well, first impressions, 10 out of 10. So um, far, yeah, it's brilliant. So this is the room. Um, first impressions, that's an aircon unit. So that's a little bit dated. I don't think, yeah, the room, the room is a little bit more dated than I expected it to be. Yeah, and like the light switches are kind of old. However, it is. Oh, it's a really nice room. It's a big size. Yeah. It's a great size. You've got this big thing, big <laughs> chest, storage. big chest of drawers, fridge, bit of storage, a uh, little stool there, something for your coat. Yeah, this is really nice music on the uh, thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, really Sorry. nice. Nice shower curtain. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> um, oh, well, this is yeah, really big. Nice safe. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Toilet. And a little tub and a shower. Yeah, really, really nice. We've never stayed here before. And I've been put off by staying here a few times because I've always felt like on the pictures, on like any of the websites, it always looks a bit dark and dingy. Yeah, they looks a bit gloomy. So yeah. Like whether they have, what they have done in these rooms is they've brightened and lightened them up a bit. I didn't actually just mean the rooms though. Oh. I meant like the whole resort. Oh. Walking into that reception area was just yeah. like, wow. That was a cross between um, Key West and Saratoga. 100%. That's ex yeah, 100%. Yeah. Right, I think we uh, we just. Okay, space. Look, space Look, we can do activities down here. <laughs> we can do some exercise. Do some yoga there. <laughs> uh, right, I think we should go and get something to yes. eat and catch Yeehaw Bob. Yeah. Right, definitely on holiday now. Magic band on. Uh, mine is an old school, you know, not flashy one. Tracy, you've. I managed to. I found my. Super fancy super one. Magic Band Plus, aren't they? Yeah. I just think of the word then. Super duper Magic Band. Yeah, but I've lost the charger for it, so I'm going to try and find a charger. We're going to price it up. Whether it's cheaper to buy a charger for this one or just buy an ordinary Magic Band. Yeah. We shall see. Uh, but it is nice to see you wandering around the parks waving like a mad woman <laughs> at like the odd statue to, <laughs> to see what it does. It is. Obviously, when you know, it, it, maybe not on this trip because it's colder, but um, you know. I'm very aware that when I'm waving, it's like the old people. <laughs> it, um, Joan Collins said, like, a woman over 25 should never wave goodbye because <laughs> of the going. So I'm like, yeah, maybe maybe I should go for something that doesn't require that. But who knows? Who knows? So the magic band, like Tracy's super fancy one, if you wave at certain things, it'll do something. So if you wave at a chicken, it'll bark. Uh, probably it'll cluck. And um, sometimes if you're, <laughs> and sometimes if you're at a show, it will light up. If I'm being honest, I wouldn't mind one. And I do like the designs of them, but I did think, you know, you have to charge them up, so it's a bit of a faff. Um, you know what this room needs? What? Replastering. Yeah. That's what it needs. By the end of this week, I'm going to be speaking in a southern accent. <laughs> well, I do declare, <laughs> there's nothing quite like the sound of kids at half nine at night. I think that must be the pool over there, still splishing and sploshing around. And it's not overly warm, but it is pleasant, but definitely not going in for a splash. Oh my goodness. They pulled out all the stops, yeehaw Bob and a horse. This is, this is just too much. It's amazing. 
and there's the pool there so that's super close to our room that's like a two or three minute walk to the room looks like a cool pool nice big one like a splash bit over there as well yeah so the pool looks like super fun and we're going for some food I think up ahead and there's a big like paddle wheel going around yeah big fan and here on the left looks like where all the ferries stop off it's like a nice little hub we're gonna wonder why it's taking so long for us to come I here know. Heading into the Riverside Mill. Oh, this is great. Yeah, this. This is awesome. If you know, you know. Chicken strips and fries. We're going to start the holiday off. We want to carry on like this, sharing food, don't we? That's the plan. Yeah, I think we. I think we'll get away with this for about three days, and then we'll start showing down. So we've got some chicken nuggets, I've got a San Pellegrino and a Bud Light. Booze out here is really expensive. I think that was like $10. So for all of this, that is a big portion. That was $26. It's really nice in here and all the servers are lovely. Yeah, I'm loving it. Right, I think, I think the word that the kids use is um, those chicken nuggets slapped. <laughs> yes. They were great. Yeah, they hit, hit right. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> if you are coming here, especially for the first time, you have to have them. Like obviously if you eat that sort of stuff. All Disney yeah. World chicken tenders and chicken well, chicken tenders aren't they? Yeah. They are just the best. And barbecue sauce. I'm not a barbecue sauce fan myself, so I love the ketchup, but yeah. each to their own. Well, right, we were gonna go and have a sneaky look at Yee Hart Bob, but it looks like he's finished for the evening. So we're in a shop. You need to charge it for your magic band, don't you? Band, yeah. What are these? A balloon light. Like yeah, they're nice. Ooh. What are we going to do about our mug situation? I think we add to our mug. <laughs> we definitely That's what we, do about <laughs> it. we do not. You're going to need like a room, <laughs> like like a mug room. A mug room. Oh, I like this not, mug. Not a trophy room. I do like this mug. That is nice. Yeah. See, I'm just not just me. Here's a bit of a problem though. And also, because of these mugs, like, they're not regulation size, so that'll take up the space of four mugs. But I do like them. I like these as well. I love all stuff like this. We've got so many of that these at really home. Nice. Yeah. And, fun fact, not made out of wood. Mm. Oh, and it's rubbery at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. I absolutely love it here. No. Yeah. Regular viewers will know I'm a big fan of Crocs, but even by my standards, <laughs> they're busy. <laughs> they are busy. <laughs> they are busy Crocs. Yes. They are cool. No, can't get away with those. Oh, but look at these. Uh, you can if you're that size. Oh, wow. These are your size. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. So, this is a really good shop so far. So, you got all the mugs and bits and pieces and and gifts sort of tailored to this sort of resorts so with like the French um, uh, beignets and gumbo stuff but you got all the regular stuff where are the chocolate peanuts these things are amazing like really really good and then they got like some stuff if you've forgotten it like Advil and headache tablets and sun cream and nappies and mouthwash and you know all that sort of stuff donuts they got beers and wines you got like dolls and squishy plushes. What is that? Is that a croissant? That oh, must be a beignet. Um, it's a really good shop this. Swimming costumes, spirit jerseys. All the plushes. All the plushes. Luke would have been all over these. Yeah, this is back in the day. Yeah. Oh. It's a really good shop. And they got some stuff moving up. They got like moving things up there, Trace. Like moving Goofy on a ladder. Oh, look. <laughs> yeah.
isn't anything we would do for you. We sit together, sleep in a pool. You got a friend of me, and you say, Reach out! Touch your me! Touch your me! Touch your me! Touch your me! That was unexpected. That was great. Yeah. What energy. What talent. <laughs> I know. He can... Ooh, he can tickle those ovaries. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, he sings lots of Disney classics, which are just awesome. He is like a, like a mega talent. Like he was like really smashing it out on the piano. The piano's on a rocker and he's off his rocker and he's like singing songs, trying to, <laughs> trying to get you to say rude words and tongue twisters. And um, yeah, I've always, always wanted to see him and we finally got to do it. And uh, it was unexpected. And when we were on the plane earlier, I was feeling so tired and just like That's really, rubbish. It has raised our energy levels. Mind you, he is so full of energy. Yeah. You kind of like get caught up in his energy. Yeah. Yeah, he was brilliant. And now it's sort of coming up for 11 o'clock. We're gonna wander back and start unpacking. Right, we are all back in our room. This resort, first impressions. Really lovely. <laughs> like, really lovely. So uh, we're getting unpacked now. Um, and yeah, that was a real fantastic back half of the of the travel day, really, because yeah, sat on the plane, it was just like it was just like oh, I was just tired, and I had a bit of a headache. And also, when we got when we got on the plane, the reason we all, we book the seats at at the back is so we can get on the on the plane and put our seats back straight away. And we 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 had to pay a little bit for them. It wasn't like mega money, but. Um, I think it was about 20 or 30 pounds per seat to book those seats because I didn't want anyone behind us because it, it's just nice. Anyway, so when we got on the plane, literally before we took us off, the two ladies in front of us sat down and put their seats all the way back as well. And I was kind of like, really? And then I was just like, well, that is what I've just done. And But where do people stand on that? Like, when it, when is it appropriate to do it? Because at first it was like, oh, this is going to be really annoying. But because our seats were back, it was okay. Like, it didn't affect our leg room, but it was just like, what would you have done if... Anyway, boring. Um, and we've had, you know, getting here, recharged our energies, had chicken nuggets, it was mega. And we got to see Yeehaw Bob, which was like a real highlight. So um, we're unpacking tonight, and tomorrow we are off to Winter Garden. Uh, and then we're doing Animal Kingdom in the afternoon. And where are we eating in the evening? Sanaa. Nice. I'm looking forward to that. We've eaten there before. And when I ate there, I wasn't eating bread. But they do a bread service there, don't they? They do. I am well excited. You won't do bread. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's very exciting. Anyway, a bit tired. Falling over my words a little bit. Thank you so much for following along with us today. Um, please remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, it's been mega and yeah, had a really great day. So stay safe, be kind, look after one another. Cheers, is.